Hey guys, welcome back to Back Country Amateur Radio. I've been sweating outside. I was thinking I might as well make a little video of this. Um, probably about 40 feet of, I don't know, old Radio Shack RG58. Good enough for the short distance. I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna put a J-pole on the roof of the garage. These things are amazing. If you've never used a J-pole, these are kind of where it's at. Um, for the money, you can't, <laughs> it seems to be hard to get a better bang for the buck. So anyhow, I'm going to do a homemade little mount, get this up there on the roof, and I'm going to show you just a couple of the, the things I'm going to do to, to make it possible. So again, go ax. It's not exactly the lowest loss. j Paul. Let's get started. I'm going to run a 19 millimeter hole into this wood. And uh, this will be the antenna sets. Pretty basic little mount hole for the J-pole, a couple of holes for cable ties, and I used some lag bolts to make this thing really sturdy. Now I'm just gonna use some simple uh, finishing screws, to, or uh, building screws, I guess, to screw this into the outside of the house until I can get a proper mount. But um, this will this will really probably do the trick. Now I'm gonna figure out what I need up top. Coax right in through there, it's convenience. Huh. I don't know how to do it. Rising it before winter. So you can see there how that's set up. Coupled cable ties, cable's nice and loose. And uh, I fed it into the vent there, drilled a hole, and uh, then I caulked it after I sent the cable. Okay, so you can see I've got this undermounted here, and then I put my little bracket up, did crack the wood. I would recommend pre-drilling if you do the bracket up, um, especially on particle board. But then what I did, just connected Anderson power poles here, which goes up to my power supply. And there we go. Power's on, antenna's connected, good to go. I love this radio. It's really, really clear. So anyway, this radio is the FT2980R from Yesu. It's got a big old speaker on the bottom, which is really nice. It's supposed to be a three watt, but I've connected this little speaker above, which actually sounds really great. So um, this is my in garage ham shack. It's gonna be a cold winter if I'm out here operating. Um, you can see the excess coax is kind of coiled there. I've got to clean this whole thing up. But the only thing I really had to do was connect or crimp on or solder on a new PL259 interface there. And uh, yeah, I'll get in there and I'll get this all cleaned up. So happy to have it finished, get on the air and, uh, and talk to people. So again, this is my two meter setup, uh, pretty basic power supply and an awesome radio goes up to about 80 watts, um, connected to my J-Pole on the roof and we're all set. <laughs> 